Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Board Scientist 7 and welcome to another Polycore video. It is now week 2 of season 15 and we are heading on to doing the Wayfire's Voyage. What you want to do is load up the helm as you see right in front of you and you're going to end up proceeding off to the right side to the Awoken section of the helm. Head down to the Wayfinder's compass below. I know you have reservations about my arrangement with Sabathin. I feel it in your heart. For all her clever machinations, the Witch Queen did not anticipate your success in stopping Furia or the Endless Night. Her schemes unravel, and now she needs my protection from Zivu Ara, from the Worm Gods, from you. I have already learned much by observation. The Taken pursued her here. Taken she once controlled. Taken that now serve a new master. Or, if Sabathin is to be believed, their original master. Not her brother, Oryx, but something far older. She fears it. It commands Zivu Arath to conquer the Ascendant space surrounding the Dreaming City. To use the Taken in her campaign against us. For now. Sabathun claims that without the Taken, she cannot break the curse she placed on the Dreaming City. She thinks she can entice me with these half-truths and secret temptations. But she underestimates the lengths to which I will go to correct the past. There you go. Uh, just click A and you can go ahead and pick up Tracing of the Stars 2 quest down below. You will also find a guide of finding all the Atlas cues here on our channel at Polycore Media. It is a quick three minute, four minute video, gives you all the locations. And now you'll have the at, uh, yeah, but first step in that Tracing of the Stars 2 quest is to talk to Marisov and then you'll have the, at find the Atlas cues. Once you, uh, do that you can go on to doing Wayfinder's Voyage or you can just do Wayfinder's Voyage first and the first step in that for this week is to head on and do the astral alignment so head on to your directory click on the dreaming city off to the far right is the astral alignment and then start it up once you play through the astral alignment and you get to the boss you'll have I guess, what was it, the Baron? Well, no, similar to the Scorn Baron that makes copies of himself. Once you defeat the boss this week, actually it might be different bosses too, but once you defeat the boss, two chests will spawn in the middle. Once you pick up the main chest, you'll have the next quest step. I don't have a good side. And if I did, you wouldn't be on it. Maybe you just can't see it because your good side is also your blind side. Oh no. Nobody's more blind than you, Crow. Even I can see that. Once you finish here, head on to the Tangled Shore. It should be the next prompted location. What you're going to have to do is once you get to the Tangled Shore, it's going to prompt you to look for or earn what's it called? Parallax Trajectory. You can find an Ascender Shard right next to the spawn zone on the Tangled Shore. And you can just patrol around, look for these to pick up if you want to, or you can just go do any of the Crucible Strikes or Gambit activities. Once you reach your maximum parallax trajectory amount needed, you'll be prompted to the next mi mission step. The next quest step. I prefer to do it with friends. It is going to the Shattered Realm. So, to go to the Shattered Realm, you go and click on the helm, and you click on Shattered Realm Debris of Jeans. Once you complete the two beacons, first two beacons, you'll find the third beacon, as you see right behind me, and this will prompt a fight with a Scorn Walker. And it's actually a pretty, uh, it's not an intense fight, but it's a pretty fun fight. Definitely a difference from last week's um, Tekken and Taken sister or whatever they're called. Let's 
So, I'm uh, playing as a hunter. I have a shotgun and I'm using the Love Eisen's breath. I'm trying to get the catalyst. Uh, D Gamer is over there and there's Inspector Barry. Uh, D Gamer is a warlock and Inspector Barry is a titan. So, as you see, Inspector Barry is using Thorn, poisoning him over time. I'm trying to break the legs, get a get some damage in on the critical um, core spot of the creature. But you know, um, not the creature, the tank. Now you can just take out the legs easily, and you just take out swaths of health and chunks like that. Honestly, just doing damage over time on the body is good enough. Leviathan's breath, though it shows it looks like it's doing a lot of damage, it really doesn't. I recommend doing a 1K. On the on the boss just strips his health away, or maybe sleeper. Those are good. Fusion rifles are crazy right now. So just take out the legs, keep shooting them. Oh, actually, anything that has a burn or poison effect is actually would just wipe out the health pretty quickly. On it. And then once you defeat him, and there you go. Oh well. Taking a few seconds. There we go. Now we'll prom. Thought that last couple of shotgun shots would take him out. Alright, now he's dead. Head on over to the Tekken. Tekken? Hmm. So you'll have some dialogue appear in a second, and there's the person you saved. <laughs> Look at that. Moon, Mission complete. Well. They all seem to be footholds for Zebu Arath's forces. Indeed, the Hive God of War has been aggressively sweeping up territory and crashing it into the borders of our own domain. Not entirely unlike a Hive War Moon, hollowed out and thrust into a conflict. A staging ground for this invasion? Possibly. Or more likely, an invasion yet to come. All right, once you're finished here, you'll want to head back over to the helm, I believe, and head to your Wayfinder's Compass. All right, there's everyone. Now you want to head over to the compass right there down below. And what you will find is that you gotta purchase your next, what's it, upgrade for the compass. So it'll be on middle left side, far left side, middle object, right there, true sight. Not that one, but that, your true sight. <laughs> true sight for the Wayfinder's compass. That will actually help you explore a lot in your current thing. Once you've done that, oh, shot around, that's what I meant to say. Next, you're gonna go see Savathun. I knew you'd be there. She lies. Don't listen to her. I'm so glad we get to talk. You and that charming little ghost of yours. You're not like the rest. You're not afraid of my words. Words are just thoughts given shape. Ideas emerging into the physical world, birthed by a mouth. Not good or evil. Not light or dark. Or this, or that. And you understand, don't you? Despite the excruciatingly binary worldview of those around you. You don't have to say it. We've all heard it before. The line between light and dark is so very thin. As if you were incapable of lifting your eyes from a scrawl of chalk on the ground. The Traveler in the Light near one foot. Your old enemies and the darkness at the other. Let me tell you a secret. If you ever want to see what's been watching you since the very beginning, just stand on that line. And look up. And there you go. So... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching today's story mission driven video. It's not really a guide video, it's more of just me playing the game, 
trying to show you the important dialogue throughout the week, especially if you don't own the season pass or can't do any of this um, part of the season at all. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below how I can improve the video. And please join our Discord. There's a link down below. Also click the notification bell and be notified whenever we post any more um, content on Destiny 2 or any other kind of gaming video that you've enjoyed from our channel. Thank you and bye bye